This is a small uh, recording looking into the degree to which we are loved uh, based on a simple observation and an obvious connected point of logic. So it begins here with something I read this morning in which it said, We, us human beings, are more precious to God than he is, than God is to himself, God's self. In the same way, we attach thousands of times more value to the person we love than to ourselves. So, in this uh, single sentence or two, is the complete kind of starting point to a truly remarkable and, and in a way complete and in a way most important imaginable truth. Uh, it is normal for all people, I believe, and it's kind of the, the deepest longing and perhaps the root of all troubles when it's gone, when it's absent, is is the feeling that we are loved. Even there's an enormous amount of, uh, of uh, self-help stuff that, uh, that is deeply invested in helping us to love ourselves, to you know, love yourself first, and there's memes and posters and psychology and psychiatrists and love yourself, love yourself, and there's the emergence of these uh, uh, notions of me time and take care of myself and uh, kind of giving ourselves permission to have a positive view of ourselves. There's also a sort of a backlash against all institutional religion that that uh, and blames it for those guilts which make us dislike ourselves or, or accuse ourselves. And... Um, um, uh, so, so this issue of coming into a relationship with the extent to which we are loved is, is obviously an enormously important and is in fact an enormously important part of our lives and part of being human. So uh, in these two sentences, here's a fascinating uh, thing to ponder. You have the you have the origin of love, the creator of the universe, the 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 all powerful, all knowing, all loving uh, source of all, uh, and and that that entity, which has the authority to define what is. So, if we're looking for a core place or or a, a solid and reliable place to know whether or not we are loved or not loved, that certainly would be the finest of all. It's the least fickle, it's the least changing, it's the individual or figure or power that has most ability to act on uh, whatever God is feeling about us. If he's mad, uh, mad at us, <laughs> certainly has the power to make things difficult. He's happy with us. He has, certainly has the power to make things go well or have things go well. Um, and if we are loved by God, really, really, um, there's little else, little else that can be troublesome. Even the most nasty individual in our daily lives really doesn't have much impact or much to say about my, uh, how I feel about my life if I were perfectly confident that I am loved by God. And so in turning to this question, I have a simple, simple couple of thoughts here. One is, you start with an observation. Do, do we love our, the object of our love, more than we love ourselves. The sentence reads, we attach a thousand times more value to the person we, we love than to ourselves. This is, this is a true thing. Almost every, almost every movie, even the worst movies, uh, are an 
example of that. You have this super killer spy that you know is invulnerable, but suddenly, suddenly the villain has his daughter or his wife, and then and then you spend ninety minutes watching this guy or this lady uh, risk their lives, falling out of planes, crashing trucks into atomic bombs, and so just just to save this daughter, just to save this one. And the obvious the narrative is that my life means nothing in order to save the one that I love. And uh, this, is, this is everywhere. This is, uh, Liam, Liam Neeson's made an entire kind of zillion dollars just making these absurd films of, of risking my own life, you know, like surrounded by these guys with knives at my throat or thing because somebody has my daughter. Uh, and it, and it's basically true. Otherwise, he, Liam Neeson couldn't make fifty movies about the same thing. It's 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 the nature of life, and 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 it's an obvious person personally researchable fact that that so, someone I love, I value someone I love far more than I value my own life. This is this is a normal and non fantastic reality. Um giving my blood, giving my liver, giving my organs, and so on and so forth for if I had a child who could live and I could, and I, and I could uh, give an organ, a vital organ, to save their lives and allow them to have a long future. There, it's, it's, not even, it's not even a storybook version of heroism. It, it, it really is the normal nature of being human, that we value something we love or a person we love a thousand times, or attach value to that person, a thousand times more than we do to ourselves. It's this is this is not a stretch. It's just normalcy that anyone can look inside of themselves, and can recognize this truth. Um, so then you take you take this one step further, and you and you say that the God of love, that you know, the Bible says God is love. And that person cares for our welfare. That's an assumption about the nature or the structure of the divine human relationship. That person cares for our welfare. Uh, if you were a Christian, um, you know, uh, God gave his only begotten son to rescue ourselves from the history of sin or from the force of sin or from the wiles of the devil. And every religion has that, the sacrifice of the gurus or leaders or... Uh, uh, the sacrifice of uh, the Buddha to liberate uh, all sentient souls and so on. That, that the divine provides the provision out of infinite love for every single solitary human soul on the earth. This is, a, this is known. This is the nature, by definition, of what religious and spiritual life is. So, and, and this is experienceable, this is testable, this is, this is, you can work on it by logic, you can work on it by observation. And so, uh, from subjective experience, that we attach a thousand times more value to the object of our love than we do to ourselves, we know this as a fact, we discover the nature of love is that way. Thus, if God himself, herself, loves us, which is the definition of the theistic setup or even the spiritual setup. If the all, if the infinite loves us, then the obvious and, and complete and inarguable truth is that, th that the, the, the origin of all, the source of all, the base of everything that exists attaches a thousand times more value or infinite more value to us than to himself, herself. This is, this is the structure and nature of what loving is. What remains, I think, is simply to start to establish a way of life that brings us into closer contact and direct experience with this very obvious fact that can be established by observation and uh, and and attendant logic, neither of which are big. They're not big jumps. They're simple observation and simple point of logic. That, that God uh, must attach va greater value 
to ourselves than to God's self. So the truth of the matter is derived from these, this simple point is that God loves us to this extent and our value is to that extent. That should be embraced and actually come to be known and we need to find a lifestyle that brings us into closer relationship with this very fact. Okay, thanks a lot. That was today. Uh, talk to you again one of these uh, days.